Museum of Imagination. When I was little, my mummy and daddy took me and my friend Timmy to a museum. Willie came too. There were lots of things to look at. Everything was old. Some of the old things were shiny. I could see my face. The shiny things looked new. But Timmy said the shiny things were old. That car might be very shiny, but it's very old. Timmy knew lots of things. Timmy showed me cars in a traffic jam. Those cars were in a traffic jam and the lights turned green, vroom, off they go. Timmy said, when the lights turn green, the cars will drive away up the wall. Vroom, <laughs> off they go. I waited for the cars to go. Beep, beep. But they didn't. <laughs> Timmy showed me bicycles on the ceiling. Timmy said the bicycles were in a race. That's a bicycle race up there. They're going to race round and round. Whee! I waited for the race to start. But it didn't. There were some big steam engines. The wheels were taller than me. Timmy showed me how to shovel coal to make the fire in the engine. Timmy showed me a flying train. That train's going to take off and fly around the room. Timmy said the train will blow its whistle and fly around the room. Woo! I waited for the train to fly, but it didn't. Outside there was a big boat. Timmy got very excited. That's a really old sail ship. Timmy told me the big boat was an old sailing ship. That sail ship's full of pirates. What's pirates, I said. Pirates have patches, they wave swords, they jump, tumble and they sail on big ships. Ha <laughs> ha! Why don't Tig and I go and do something else and you two go on the ship? I didn't want to go on the old ship. It was scary. Me and Mummy drew pictures. Timmy and Daddy had fun on the sailing ship. Hey Tig, Timmy knows lots of things, but Timmy doesn't know everything. Nobody does. <laughs> but sometimes Timmy can make things sound a lot more exciting than they really are. <laughs> Timmy has a big, big imagination and that's fun. <laughs> so the cars won't really drive off up the wall. The bicycles won't really race round and round the ceiling and trains don't fly. <laughs> Timmy looked at the big old sailing ship and imagined pirates sailing the ocean. But any pirates would have left a long, long time ago. <laughs> so go for it, Tig, and have fun on the old sailing ship. Hey, and Tig, no worries, the ship won't sail away, only in Timmy's imagination. Yes, I thought. Mummy, can I go on the sailing ship now? I want to see what it's like on the old sailing ship. So I went on the ship. The only pirates on the sailing ship were Timmy and me. Timmy's pirate was a scaredy pirate. He ran away from Wooly. Yes, all the outdoor spiders! I like the old ship. I like Timmy's imagination. I love Willie. We've been scared since we were three. Hola. When I was little, I went on a holiday, a long, long way away. Don't forget Willie. Willie came too. When we arrived at the holiday, it was in a hotel. I was asleep. In the morning, I woke up. We were in a big room with stripy bits of sun. Mummy, where are we? 
We're on holiday, Tig, in Spain. Tig, come and see this. Help me open the shutters, said Daddy. Outside was our very own little balcony. Tig. Through the trees, I could see the sea. At breakfast time, we went onto the hotel roof. That's funny, I thought, having breakfast on the roof. Everything was different on holiday. After breakfast on the roof, we heard some shouting. Daddy said, hey Tig, come and look at this. Tig, come and see this. We looked round the corner and there was a swimming pool. That's funny, I thought. A swimming pool on the roof. Mummy we put sun cream on me and a big sun hat. Right, ready? Okay. Then we went out to explore. Everything was blue and green and white and beautiful. Nothing was quite the same. Mummy liked the shops. At one shop they sold dresses. They were pretty dresses, but they looked different. Hola, son vestidos muy bonitos. Would you like one? said Mummy. Sure. I wasn't sure. Everything was all a bit strange. Come back later. Daddy found some ice cream. Egg, have you ever seen ice cream like this before? The ice cream was all different colours. Flavours. And piled up into mountains. We went to look at the sea. The sea was so big and blue. Way down below was a beach. There were fishing boats and straw umbrellas. Shall we go in the telescope? Yeah. We look through a telescope. Can you see anything? We could see fishermen and their fishing nets. Maybe we can go down on the beach for a swim soon, said Daddy. I wasn't sure. Everything was so different. Everything was so hot. Hey Tig, when you go on holiday and visit new places, nothing is ever quite the same. There are so many little differences. But that's what makes a holiday all the more fun. La 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 I go to new places, there's lots of new faces On my holidays The change is amazing, the sun can be blazing On my holidays I can't stop my smiling, I find it exciting On my holidays La 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 And your treats and your meals that you eat On your holidays The view's ever-changing The palm trees are waving On your holidays New sounds and new smells And the ringing of bells tingling On your holidays You love all your holidays So different from every day On your holidays La 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 Yes, I thought. Everything is different. But this is my holiday. Daddy, can I get an ice cream? Yes, come on then. It's fun. Here we go. Hola, quieres uno? The lady in the ice cream shop said, Hello. I like the lady. My ice cream was different. Mmm. But my ice cream was the best. We went for a swim on the roof. There were other children swimming too. The children said, hello. Hola. I like the other children. In 
the toad. Mummy bought me the pretty dress. I liked everything different. Maybe you can look at some I liked the lady at the shop. Gracias. But I didn't Gracias. understand Gracias. what she said. Gracias. We went down to the beach. There were other children on the beach. Hello. The children said hello. When we had lunch, it was cooked on the beach. Paella, said Daddy. My favourite. There were lots of flames and bubbling. While we waited for the paella to cook, I played on the climbing frame. Hola. There were some other children. They said, hello. I like the other children. When we ate the paella, it was so good. It had prawns and chicken and rice. Mm. The climbing frame children were sitting at a table next to me. They waved and said, hello. I wanted to say hello too, but I didn't know how. Hey Tig, we're on holiday in Spain. Everyone here speaks in a different way to us. That's no worry. We can speak like them too. We can speak Spanish. See? See. What does everyone say to you? Hello. Hello. Hola. Hola. You understand. Hola is hello. Now you can say hola too. Hola. I can have even more holiday fun. I can talk to everyone. Hola. Hola, I said to my friends. Hola, my friend said to me. After lunch, I played on the beach with my friends. We talked lots. Siesta time, said Mummy. Siesta time. And adios. Adios. Goodbye, I waved to my friends. It was so hot. We had to sleep after our lunch. It's great. Two days for one in Spain? Two days for one, said Daddy. Everything was so different. That night, I wore my pretty new dress. Children were dancing. said my friends. Hola. There was so much dancing, and laughing, and clapping. Hola. When a man saw Wooly, he stamped his feet right. It's only a toy spider. I liked my holiday. I liked everything being different. And I love Wooly. We've been together since we were busy. Busy. When I was little, my mommy and daddy had a very busy day. Me and Wooly had a busy day too. I was busy doing my jigsaw. Mommy and daddy were busy talking. Talk, talk, talk. Off we go. But my jigsaw, I said. Rush, rush, rush! We got into the car. Where's Wooly? Where's Wooly? Daddy stopped the car. At least the brakes work, said Mummy. Mummy picked up Wooly. Wooly was just doing your jigsaw. Wooly was trying to do the jigsaw. So was I. Daddy drove to the garage. Mummy rushed off. We went into a room with a window. We saw the car 
go up into the air. A man came to talk to Daddy. Why are you talking about it, Dad? Daddy's busy. In a minute, said Daddy. Talk, talk, talk. Whiz! The wheels came off the car. The wheels went back on the car. Whiz! Hooray! The wheels worked. Daddy drove us to the printers. Hi there. Hi there. I'm supposed to be meeting my wife here. Right. Talk, talk, talk. Printing for a presentation document. What are you talking about, Daddy? In a minute, no. said Daddy. No. Mummy came through the door. Oh, hi. Mummy! Hiya. Mummy! Daddy left to go to work. Bye. I need to get... Talk, talk, talk. ...size print scan to PDF and about... Mummy, what are you talking tonight. about? Yeah, Just I in could, a minute, Ted. Mummy's busy. In a minute, said Mummy. Do you want to do some drawing for me? Mummy gave me some drawing. Come on, here we go. One, two, three. Whee! Oh, sorry about that. That's okay. So. I drew a sun. Like Mummy a sun. Just in a minute, Tig. Mummy's busy. In a minute, said Mummy. Talk, talk, talk. I didn't like Mummy always busy. Hey, Tig. It's not nice when no one listens to you. It's not nice when no one looks at your pictures. But Tig, Mummy and Daddy are having a busy day. You need to let them be busy. When Mummy and Daddy are busy, you need to be busy too. You've done one drawing, so why not do some more drawings? Why not make your very own jigsaw? Well, you've got one piece of your jigsaw, a sun. Here's another piece. What's that, do you think? A roof for a house. There's one half of your jigsaw. All you've got to do now is finish off the other half. What are you going to put under the sun? Tig. Yes, Tig. A picture of you would look great there. Go for it, Tig. Get busy. Yes, I thought. I can be busy too. Oh, well done, Tig. You've been so busy. You've done a jigsaw. The printer man made another of my jigsaws for Daddy. So when the printer man saw Willy, he made a face. Ah! It's only a toy spider. I like Mummy and Daddy being busy. I like being busy too. I love Willy. We've been getting since we were here. I liked big loud noises. Willy liked big loud noises too. Some big loud noises made me laugh. Some big loud noises made me jump. Some big loud noises made me shout at them. I like making big loud noises too. But one noise I didn't like was thunder. Mummy, Daddy! Thunder scares me. No one could stop thunder. Thunderstorm. Not even Daddy. You're quite safe. <sighs> one day, Daddy took me and my friend Timmy hey, um, to play in the park. It's looking a wee bit stormy. Thunderstorm? Maybe a thunderstorm. I didn't yeah, like thunder. Come on, said Daddy. On, then, we'll go ten pin bowling instead. I forgot about thunder. Let's put them here. I never seen okay. ten pin bowling before. Right. There were lots of big loud noises at ten pin bowling. I liked the noises. It was exciting. Do you know who's winning? The ten pin bowling was a game. When the ball got to the end of the lane. It hit the pin with a big, right, loud big clatter. Watch me. The more pins that fell over, the bigger and louder the clatter. 
If you knocked over all the pens, it was a strike. It was the biggest clatter ever. We all played together, but the ball was heavy. So Daddy got a special rolling machine just for me. We took turns to roll the ball and see how many pins we could knock oh, over. Sometimes none. Sometimes one. Sometimes lots. And push it. We never knew how many pins were going to fall over. When Daddy got a strike, we cheered. Ten pins clattering over. Hooray! Ten pin bowling was so much fun. When I went home, I forgot the stormy weather. I played ten pin bowling before bed. That night, I woke up. There was a big clattering bang. I thought I was at the ten pin bowling. I wasn't. It was thunder. I was scared. I hid under the bedclothes and cuddled Willy. Hey, Teak, no one likes thunder. Thunder can be scary. You never know when the bang will come next. Or how loud and clattery it will be. When you don't like something, think of something you do like. Tim pin bowling! Wait for the flash, roll the ball, and see how big the clatter will be! Flash! Roll the ball, and... Clatter! I think we knocked over about five pins then. Flash! Roll the ball, and... Clatter! That was a strike! Ten pins! So go for it, Tig. See how loud the next bang will be. Yes, I thought. Thunder is scary, but not quite so scary when you have fun with the bangs. You OK, Tig? Daddy came running into my bedroom. He thought it was funny that I was playing ten-pin bowling with thunder. Oh, oh, oh. And then I I don't like thunder, but I like ten pin bowling, and I love Wooly. I love Wooly and Wooly loves me. We've been together since we were wee. He's nice.